Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off with looking at this Mercedes in front of us. As you can see, the left indicator does work. So that is not the problem here. As we drive through, yes, more roadworks, but at least there's something going on in them roadworks. But we are looking at this Mercedes and it's obviously been using this all weekend. The self-entitlement car wax, suitable for Audis, Mercedes and Range Rovers. Apply once and it will turn you into a dickhead until you sell the car. So where are you going then? Oh, you're going in there, are you? Yes, we'll all fucking guess, shall we? We'll all guess where you're going. Now in this clip we're going down the 30, 20, 30 bloody whatever speed limit road this is, I don't know anymore. Anyway, we're coming up to that roundabout and we're looking at that pickup truck over there to the right hand side. Now if you look at the top right hand side as we're looking at it, is windscreen. Surely not. Surely not. I'll show you it from the rear. It cannot be the yellow circle of death in the windscreen there, can it? I mean, to be a private hire driver, or a vehicle rather, it, it has to have four doors, which it's got, five seats, which it's got, but a pickup truck, as a private hire driver, it certainly looks like one of them discs, but I couldn't see if there was one on the rear because it actually turns left here. Yeah, unusual. And speaking of unusual, we are looking at a woman in a second that has either got incredibly good hearing or she's telepathic or something. I don't know. I have not altered the sound in this. I've not edited this in any way, shape or form with the sound. You'll see this woman here. There's a perfectly good pavement next to her. Why is she not using it? And all I do was say it. I'm not shouting. There's a perfectly good pavement next to you. Why are you walking in the road? Now, even that, my windows are up, and this is the, the reaction I got from this woman. And look how far away I am when I said this, and she actually turns round to me. There's a perfectly good pavement next to you. Why are you walking in the road? Now, look at that. Is that weird or what? Spooky weird. Yeah, a bit weird, that one. But there's nothing weird about this one. It's an Audi driver. Yes, there's nothing weird about an Audi driver. They're just fucking useless. As we look here, you can see this Audi driver needs a little bit more of the road than it's entitled to. And then we know why. Because it's on the phone. Look at the head all the way down there. That's not spooky weird. That's just Audi-ish. And as we go to the rear camera now, you'll get to see everyone else can manage it. Everyone else can manage to get into the lane except for the phone using Audi driver. Good job there. Always an Audi. Now in this clip, you'll see a zebra crossing in front of us and a woman step out on it. And she has full priority in this situation. But that van doesn't see her. I wonder why he didn't see her. Oh, look where the head is. Look where the head is. Mobile phone use yet again. So in this clip, we're looking to the left-hand side. You can see I've got a green. Why are you walking out? It's not difficult. It really isn't difficult. You've got traffic lights to look at. There you go. You've got a button. There you go. Look up at the traffic lights. It will tell you that you should be waiting. So now we come to a car that finds it really difficult to indicate. Good indication. We all know where you're going. Just we we'll just guess where you're gonna go, shall we? Oh, there it is. It does work. So we're gonna follow this little car. It's a bit of an old girl driving it. But indicating is so easy, isn't it? It's just a little lever you have to push up or down. Now, her positioning looks like she's turning right. For me, anyway. But she does pull over slightly to the left again. It 
Let us know where you're going. Let us know where you're going. She does eventually put the indicator on, but it's far too late. Now in this clip, we are coming up to a roundabout, and as I keep saying, it's priority to traffic approaching from the right, even if you are an Audi. Yes, it applies to them as well. Now, as you can see, I'm coming from the right. I'm first on the roundabout before this idiot in the Audi. And I'm saying I'm first on the roundabout because only of the buffoons that seem to think it's first come, first served on a roundabout, which is not. Now, really, I should have used the horn on him here, but being an Audi driver, he would probably think that that is coming from his radio as they get bibbed all day. Now, in this clip, we've got a professional driver, yes, but one that's done the knowledge. There he is over there. Now, he stopped in a really unusual spot, which I don't really have that much of a problem with, but there's his traffic lights. There's his stop line. He knows that they're there because, obviously, he's done the knowledge. He knows all these sort of things. But after dropping his passengers off, he just totally ignores them. Totally ignores them and just uses this road as a normal road, as a normal junction. It's got traffic lights on. And as we go to the rear, he's got no green light there. That's a red light that he's just gone straight through. But don't worry, folks. He's a professional. He's done the knowledge. He knows everything. So now in this clip, it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit. We have a cyclist on the right hand side and cars overtaking it. Yep, that's not 1.5 meters. You've got a car coming straight towards you and you're now deciding to overtake a cyclist. Um, not very good driving at all. Now you can see me and now you're going to move in on the cyclist. So it's the cyclist's fault for being there in the first place. Did you notice how shiny her car was? Yes, yeah, she's been using the wax all weekend. So in this video, this is like one of them training videos. Can you spot where the danger is? I've just paused it here. Now, potentially, it could be that cat, but it's not. We're not looking at the cat at all. Obviously, there's two places there, that blue thing on the left-hand side and the blue van on the right-hand side. Now, if you have said that, then you are correct in a way, but here we go. There's the plank that's pulling out, and that's how far it's out before the plank carrying the plank has actually looked, has bothered to look at all to the left-hand side. And it was really a very, very short glance. But that's a first for me. I have never seen a plank carrying a plank. You see everything on the roads nowadays, but a plank carrying a plank, that really is a first. So in this clip, we're on Epsom High Street at the moment, and there's a stationary bus there just parked up. So we go around it, and then we get back into the lanes that we want. Now, it's quite straightforward. You just get back into the lane that you want. Now, the NHS van in front of me is not letting the Peugeot go get back into the lane because the Peugeot had plenty of time to get into that lane. It just wanted to go further down the road to actually cut in a little bit further down the road. So... I get why the NHS didn't let it in, but I will. Now, it's all about manners. A little acknowledgement goes a long way in this sort of situation, but nothing. Just an acknowledgement would have been really nice. Just something. Just to say, yeah, thanks. Shitting Perjo! Now I'm going to put another one of these clips on that are 50-50 and I get why people would say that but hear me out before you do start saying they had priority. Yeah, as you can see all the cars are parked on the left hand side and there's nothing coming down the road so I'm driving down the road but here comes the Audi. Now this how Audi actually puts its foot down to make it difficult for me to get through that last car there. That's the problem I have with it. If you see here, it's not even in the road, obviously, yet. And there is plenty of time for me to get past there, but she's actually put her foot down to make it difficult here. And you can see that there, I've got plenty of time, plenty of room there to get through, but she's put her foot down to, to make the gap tight. I don't get that sort of attitude, even from an Audi driver. And as you can see... 
There she is there. That's really close. It didn't have to be. And I get that some of you will be saying, well, you could have just pulled in there. Well, she didn't have to speed up to get into the gap. I mean, look how much space I had there before she got there. And she's speeding. She's speeding to get into that gap to teach me a lesson, basically, of don't get in the way of my Audi. So we're on the mad mile now. As most of you know, that when we get down to the bottom here, we go to a roundabout where the left goes left and the right goes right. It's so simple. Everybody's in their correct lane and we're starting to break up in front. So there must be quite a little bit of traffic there that's turning left. But everything's okay. I've left loads of braking distance in front of me because I can't see in front of this pickup. But when we go to the rear camera, here come the idiots. So they're still overtaking. It's busy all the way down the road behind me. But this one here in particular is the one we're looking at. It finally sees that, oh, I better get over. Now, it doesn't matter about anyone behind her that could be going straight on or turning right at the roundabout up there. She's going to break and keep them waiting, as well as get into my braking distance and make me break and everyone else behind me break as well because she's more important than anyone else remember that she's one of them self-entitled drivers as well as that guy who's just overtaken me look he's indicating left but he's in the right lane bloody idiot How, why do people make driving look so difficult and he obviously doesn't want to turn right he wants to turn left so we go to the rear camera at the roundabout here yeah and no one's obviously going to let him in Numpty and the red car did it as well. Now, I have a couple of questions in this clip. Are dustmen exempt from road rules? Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute when we come up to this dustman here on the right-hand side. They're parked right across a zebra crossing here. Right on the zigzags and actually on the crossing to actually do their job. But are they allowed to do that because it's their job? Answers on a postcard. And that car that's waiting there, would you do what he's about to do without anyone waving you through, i.e. a dustman saying, go round the other side of the bollard there? Now, there's two other cars that do exactly the same, but they do it a lot bloody faster than what he did. Would you do that without being called on by a, by a dustman there? I'm not so sure I would. So we're back on the mad mile and it's the normal bum fight at the beginning here where everyone tries to sprint and race each other off. There's a reason why it's called the mad mile. And we're looking at this little red car next to us, the Fiat 500, the trainee Audi driver. There's a grown man in that, by the way. Yeah, a grown man has picked that car to drive. But we're also looking at the Burke in the Merc. We have undertaking coming up. But it's another one of them spooky moments as this car's just overtaken me it's pulling in and if you look in the outside lane the mercedes has gone look at that as if by magic yeah it's now actually in front of the fiat 500 how did that happen awesome. yeah you know didn't you anyway we're driving down this road awesome. and look what was happening behind me it's completely empty but the range rover the self-entitled range rover has to be in the outside lane, even though it doesn't want the outside lane. There isn't enough room in front of me to get in front. But as you can see, there is plenty of room behind me to get in, but that doesn't normally go into their thinking. To be behind someone, do you know who I am? Do you know what I'm driving here? And as you can see, the Fiat 500 there didn't have to be in the outside lane for the whole mad mile. Now in this clip, we are looking at a pedestrian that's on the left-hand side, just under the traffic lights there. It's about to press the button, but then carries on walking. Why would you press that and then walk away? Why would you press that and then walk away? Walks away and then crosses the road afterwards. They are not very bright round here, I tell you. Pedestrians, cyclists, Audi drivers 
the lot. Now in this clip, how long did it take you to find out, to realise that there is an emergency vehicle behind you? We see in this clip here where it takes some people an absolute eternity to get out the way. You'll see the uh, ambulance there. Now, I'm talking with this guy in the car, so you can't hear the siren, but it was going at this time. Uh, you see one white car has moved over a little bit there in my lane and no one else is actually moving apart from that white van now. He's actually starting to move to the to his right. Now, as we drive along, the ambulance is still in lane two. So it doesn't really affect me as such. All you people in lane two should be moving over to lane one and give him a free ride. As we go past the cyclist and you can see the flashing lights going and no one is actually moving over. There we go, we get one there. How long before that car sees it? Now remember the siren is going as well. Amazing how many people don't look in their mirrors. It's, there's a police or it's an ambulance behind us and it's no one's moving over for it. <laughs> now it, to be fair, the, the siren is going on and off all the time. It's not continuous. Now we've got this van. Now we've just been round a roundabout. You should be able to, you should be looking in your mirrors on a roundabout and you would have been able to see that ambulance there if you were using the mirrors correctly on a roundabout. Driving a van, you should always be looking in your mirrors on a roundabout, but... There we go. He had to get right behind him before he actually even noticed anything. How poor is people's observation nowadays? Now in this clip, I'm on the A3 coming back into London and we are looking on the hard shoulder. Really mate? Fucking really? Idiot. Fucking build your speed up first, you muppet. Fuck's sake. <coughs> now he's gone out to the middle lane. What the fuck is he overtaking? Idiot. So a little bit further down the A3, we're looking in the middle lane now for a truck that's very similar to the last one. It's not the same truck. It's in the middle lane lane hogging which makes people undertake it and get congested behind it because it's lane hogging why not do it the correct way got the message eventually he's got the message get out of the middle lane you twat I bet he's fucking turning left here I bet he's coming off at the A240 yeah he's coming off here look at that he only moved over because it was his fucking junction to come off at asshole Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a really good driver, aren't ya? Really good driver. Yeah. So we're back in Epsom now for some more self-entitlement driving from that Mercedes in the left-hand lane as we're looking at it. He was actually in the correct lane, the lane that I'm in, which is the only lane that turns left. He doesn't want to turn right, which is where the other two lanes go. He wants to turn left, but he's going to sneak in up the front here. 
There he goes. He doesn't want to turn right. He wants to turn left. And you'll see him sneaking right at the end, right by the traffic lights there. There you go. He's obviously been using the self-entitlement wax as well. And someone else that has been using that wax or must have been using it for someone else's car is that pedestrian there. You can see we've got a green light and he walks straight out. But walking straight out in front of a learner is never a fucking good idea, you plum. I have no idea what these people think. What do they? What is going through their head, these people? Other than I'm self-entitled. So in this clip, we're looking at that car that's to the left-hand side of me. It's been waiting there for ages, and then it waits until I've got a green light, and then gets in my way. Um, yeah, clever driving, that one. Why not pull out beforehand? You had a lane to get into as well to not be in my way at all. You've pulled out, mate, but oh, there you go, there you go. You can drive forward. Yeah, that's it. You, that that pedal on the right hand side, mate. If you hit that, it makes you go faster. Turning left, yeah? I guess. I guess that you're turning left, shall I? Now, this car in front has obviously been using the car wax because I could see my number plate in the reflection. I say we need to bring back the Green Cross Code Man. I know the guy, the original guy, is now not with us anymore, but we can bring in someone new, can't we? Because these kids, these youngsters need training, they need teaching. How do you cross a road? Yep, by standing in the centre of another road. That is very, very safe indeed, isn't it? Always use the Green Cross code, because I won't be there when you cross the road. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.